Hey guys, it's um, Avocan Stables 01 here. Um, sorry, I haven't made a prior video in forever. As I have just started year 8 and have so many projects and homework and everything due, I've had no time. And as you may know, my parents are divorced, so all my brides are at my dad's house. I only come here every second weekend, so I don't have time to do any bra stuff. But I finally got around to making a video for you guys. Um, I'm going to tell you how to make your pry barn awesome, I guess. Um, first of all, and I think my pry barn is awesome. Because I have an actual barn that me and my dad built. Hard to believe, I know, but it's made out of cardboard. The whole thing. The roof you can see here. It's just cardboard. The whole barn, the floor, the walls. Well, I used popsicle sticks. I made the latches, um, the whole things to make the whole barn. I used cardboard, paint, sticky tape, a lot of sticky tape, um, these little things, penny things. Wait, they're called tacks or something. Um, yeah. I used that stuff. That's awesome barn. I love it, the way it looks and everything, other than the size, like the size is good, it just takes up quite a lot of room in my bright room, and at the moment the bright room is already cluttered as it is. Um, another thing to make your bright barn look awesome is build stuff, build ponds out of cardboard, build fences out of planks of wood build stuff out of popsicle sticks um some stuff if you're like low on money or even high on money I'm sort of low at the moment buy things that look real but uh this is a shot glass looks like a bucket um at the moment I'm using it as a filler but yeah um so you can use them as buckets Put feed in them. I use real food, real horse food. I know, weird. Don't use like grains or anything because I had grain and mice came and ate it all. So I have chaff and lucerne. Um, also, if you buy a barn to make it look cool, make hay. This is a wool. Yes, it's yellow and orange and creamy coloured, different wool. Yeah, that's pretty much all my hang made out of wool. Um, for water, I found these little fluffy pieces of stuff, and I like fold it and put it in a bucket, and it looks like water. Um, I also made these made out of cardboard. I make about ninety percent of all stuff in the spy room. Um, made these. It's got uh, what are they called? pipe cleaners, sticky tape, cardboard, and just with these pipe cleaners, because they bend, it just slips over the cardboard and goes on. Um, make name labels to also make your bright barn look awesome. This one's Misty, paint that pictures one. She's got gold background. I have some silver backgrounds like this one. That's Earthquake. Um, yeah. Oh, something's really handy in your bra room. Blue tack. Always have blue tack. It helps stick everything on, and now it's being a pain. <laughs> but it helps stick everything together. Um, another thing is halters. Make them as realistic as you can. I don't really like the bra ones. Not that I have any. But the look of them. So, I made my own. They look pretty real, and I cut out names. Uh, yeah. I make those. Um, this little hook I made. I can't remember why I made it. I think it was to put somewhere else, and then I forgot where I was going to put it when I finally made it. It was just an S sort of shape. I think it's like a piece of coat hanger or something. Yeah. But that just knocks over. Um, uh, 
I make a lot of tack. As I said, 90% of the stuff in my whole bar room I made. I made the saddle stands. It's just, um, I'm not show you. It's a piece of cardboard. It's a piece of cardboard bent over. Oops. Then you can either like use sticky tape. I have some sticky taped ones. I couldn't find the sticky tape when I made these though. Sometimes it's a popsicle stick glued on. And then it's a nail or a screw. It's a nail and it goes through to there. And then you just poke it through. And it's a steady saddle stand. Saddle stand. Um, yeah. Also, have a few animals like dogs or cats around your barn. Make it look more realistic. As I said, make a lot of your stuff. I made this box randomly. It's got hair ties in there because I couldn't find anything else. It's just got all my blankets for a horse in there. It's got um, two summer rugs, a um, pair of boots, and all that stuff. Um, another awesome thing to add to your barn make a uh, a logo sort of thing make vests I made this vest for Apricot's Tables in the Apricot's Tables colours I know it doesn't look it but it's purple and orange house table colours um hmm what else yeah I also made these one these feed bins this one looks a bit better but that was not going to come off um popsicle sticks and paper clips and some glue obviously a cool thing well one of a must haves in a briar to have like a whole briar room get a hot glue gun I went years without one and I'm so lucky I have it now even though it burns me but so lucky to have it now um also make rugs for your horses like Few people have this rug, the um, weather beater one, weather beater rug. Um, I know this tail flap thing looks totally unrealistic, so I fold it under. But um, not a lot of people have these. So what I thought, because I only have one of those, for Tom. What I thought is to make my own rugs. Whoops. Um, pretty much make all the rugs for the horses. There's a few I haven't made. I didn't make that one on popcorn over there, the little Shetland pony in the purple rug. Or, I think I made everybody else's. Yeah. Um, it's just a piece of felt. It's got the name on it. Um, some ribbon strap thing. And a piece of sticky Velcro got a strap there and a strap there and two straps there on the neck rug. Yep. Um I also make different sorts of rugs like this one. I haven't put his name on there yet, but it's just sticky velcro and a piece of I think it was like old tracksuit pants that didn't fit me anymore. So I used them. Um another rug that looks pretty cool is this one that I made it's an old dressing gown cut up and it's got some leather straps and I like crosses underneath and um these straps are really cool they go under through this thingy and you pull them out and it goes through the loop and then comes out and whatever um yeah whoa can't get it back on and put it through there if it wanted to go through. Uh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, so to make a bright barn look cool, make your own rugs, make your own holders, make barns, make anything. I made the top one's an office, <laughs> the next one's a feed room. So I saw a feed box in there, but I have no room in my bright room at the moment for those, so they're just sitting there. This old stable thing I made. Um, jumps. Let's talk about jumps. This is a piece of dowel. I painted it. 
I cut it and painted it. So that looks like before. Whoa, falling over. <laughs> oh, damn it. Um, just a piece of dowel I cut. And I haven't got around to painting all of them. Even though I painted these ones like four years ago. But yeah. Um, make your own jumps. I have a tutorial on making uh hay knit thingies. Um these things. Yeah, I have a tutorial on that. It's made out of popsicle sticks. And sticky velcro. Sticky velcro and popsicle sticks are your best friends in the bright room. Best friends. Um, make your own jumps as well. It's just popsicle sticks and some hot glue. And it stands up. It's got the cups in the cups. And you put the pole in the cup. And it stands up. Yeah, they're pretty cool. They break a lot though. <laughs> um, you use toilet paper rolls. If you don't have time making those or anything. Toilet paper rolls I use quite a lot. Um, don't have any in my actual barn at the moment because I've made fences, made all new fences yesterday and today. Um, yeah, use them, cut holes in them, ride on them, paint them, do whatever you want with them. They're your best friends as well. Um, hmm, what else? Oh, try and get as many horses as you can. Um, probably the same size. Because I have also different sized ones. I have traditionals over there. Classics here. I have all sorts of sizes. So I just say the classics are ponies. Not horses. And um. Yeah. Go like. Barbie stuff I like the best. I think this is a Barbie bucket I got from somewhere. It's got some. Different brushes for like all those toys. That the horses come with real hair and stuff. Your brush, I use all those. Um, try and find some horseshoes, some real wool horseshoes. This one has nails in it, so I'm not really using it at the moment. But um, find some of those, it makes your barn look really, really pretty. Um, try and get some like grass material or something. This is like, I don't know, piece of material. I found it. It's a green piece of material. I have the real grass stuff, but. Because it's been folded up for a while. It's been like rolled up. It doesn't work properly. And like it has hills and ditches and all sorts of stuff in it. And when the horses stand on it, they get all overbalanced and fall over. But yeah, it's just a piece of well material and another piece of material. Um, just wondering if you guys know. Um, does your Fox Valley Oliver stand up on carpet? Because mine does not. He falls over. He's never stood up properly on the carpet. So I have to use a little piece of board stuff that I found. That's another good thing to have. Get, find a little piece of whatever, just so you can stand up your horse. Um, another good thing to have in your bride barn is homemade jumps. It's a piece of cardboard. <laughs> yeah, I use cardboard a lot. There's just a thing that says up ground. <laughs> Cut it and there's a stables part here. So it says apple ground stables. It's apple ground stables, don't it? Um, yeah, also have a lot of people. I have millions of people. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Got ten people. If you're going to count that and the other one I got up there, then I got 11, but they don't ride because they don't bend properly. See? Um, you bend their legs. <laughs> and they look retarded. So. I don't really use those. They're just sort of just there for show. But, um, thanks, guys. Oh, wait. I've got one more thing. Almost forgot. Almost forgot. This truck. My little sister got a truck, so I got a truck. And put stickers all over it. Well, cut out. Little bumper stickers. So it makes the truck really cool and horsey. That's about it, guys. Uh, thanks for